We're taking you live to Washington, D.C. this morning, where the partial government shutdown has entered its 27th day. Now, as we near the four-week mark, there still appears to be no end in sight. Although senior administration officials at the White House here do say there's been increased talk inside about wanting the shutdown ended. Meanwhile, Democrats are ramping up the pressure on President Trump. This morning, White House officials are mulling over a new approach to the State of the Union address. This after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi essentially told the president without a deal on the shutdown, there would be no State of the Union. She's asked him in a letter to postpone the annual address or to deliver it in writing if the shutdown isn't ended soon, citing security concerns. CBS News reports the White House is now discussing whether Senator Mitch McConnell can invite Trump to deliver that address. While 800,000 federal employees are not getting paid until this partial government shutdown ends, some have now started GoFundMes to pay their bills. There are about 1,800 campaigns that are raising money to help those furloughed federal employees with things like rent, groceries, student loans, and more.